one thing is for sure, nobody is taking this issue sitting down. I think these benches need to stay, man. With a budget crisis looming and jobs in short supply, our city council went well into the night discussing the hottest issue going. Our city bus benches should not have advertising on them. For reasons I have yet to understand, Spokane's bus benches have inflamed the passions of many a citizen, including the mayor. We are going to undertake a new bus bench replacement program. Now this mayor is big on the environment, so while she may not mind an advertisement for a hybrid car, overall she'd like to see the benches more functional and less informational. The signs are placed for maximum advertising effect, but not necessarily placed for the advantage of the bus rider. On the back side of this bus bench is an advertisement for a radio station that doesn't even exist anymore and coincidentally one that I used to work for. At least they're recycling. The mayor ought to appreciate that. I am opposed to the presence of those and feel that the quality of our community is degraded by the presence of those uh, that advertising in our streetscape. Of course, one of the big arguments against bus benches is that there are so many of them, they clutter our streets with unsightly advertising. We don't want that to happen. That might be true, but the benches need to stay, yeah. period. Eventually, the city and the bus bench advertisers will reach some kind of agreement, but until then, there will be much more debate. This is a gorgeous city, and little by little, you don't realize what a gem you have. Some people will be offended by what they see, but many of us just aren't seeing it. Do you know what's being advertised on the bench you're sitting on right now? Don't look. No, I don't be honest. No, I do not. I have to admit, I still don't know what all the flap is about. Yes, it's advertising, but in the end, it's pretty much a place to park your rear end. Rick Lukens, KXLY4 HD News.